This is ASBR Boxing and Flan Solo here, um, reacting to the weigh-in that we've just witnessed between Lucas Rosansky and Lawrence Okoli, of course, fighting Friday night, tomorrow night, in uh, Cheshoff in Poland, I think I pronounced that right, for the WBC World Bridgerweight title, of course, Bridgerweight, for all those that don't know, is um, the kind of new weight division, relatively new weight division between um, cruiserweight and heavyweight. So, yeah, obviously the cruiser weight limit's 14 stone 4, um, 200 pounds. The bridger weight limit is 16 stone, which is oh, 224 pounds. We just witnessed the weigh-in um, there in, in, in Poland. Excuse me. Lawrence Okoli weighing in at 101.4 kg on his first fight um, up at bridger weight since losing that cruiser weight world title last time out, almost a year to the day, um, against Chris Billum smith and Lucas Rosansky, the champion going into this, the undefeated fighter, 15 and 0 with 14 KOs. He weighed in himself at 101 kg. So yeah, Rosansky is about pound and a half, give or take, um, inside the bridger weight limit, and Akoli's about half a pound inside the limit. So Akoli weighing in slightly heavier that uh, than his than his Polish counterpart. But yeah, not can't really read too much into the weigh-in. Um, if I'm being totally honest, it's an it's an interesting one, you know. If, Kind of, I've I've covered the the standard preview for this fight with um our Polish friend Casper. I've also covered the final predictions, um with with um Niall, which comes. I'm going to be covering that. Sorry, with Niall um in, in uh, after this. So please do check that out in the channel when you get the chance to do both of those videos. But um yeah, having having you know looking at looking at this fight and kind of studying it and seeing how I think it's going to go. Does the weight really play a factor to me here? Obviously, it'll it's a difficult one because Lawrence Akoli, you know, he's let's be honest, he's he's carrying well, he's lots of two stone. It's it's um a stone and ten pounds more um for this fight than he will have weighed in for this Billum Smith fight, obviously, at the cruiser weight limit of two hundred pounds. And obviously, you know, we all knew Lawrence Akoli six foot five or whatever, and was he's a big he's a big lump of a cruiser weight he was. Um so he was probably putting on a lot of weight um, between the weigh-in and fight night. Well, whether or not he would be heavier than this, um, I highly doubt he would put that much weight on overnight um, and into the into the into fight day. So it's an interesting one. I did hear Spencer Oliver, I think it was on commentary there, saying that you know Akoli could even put another ten pounds on on top of what he's just weighed in at. So you know you're talking you're talking two hundred and thirty pounds plus. Um, of what of what a goalie might actually weigh in at come fight night. Rosansky himself is obviously he you know he's he's used to this weight now. He having been the champion um last time out to be beaten Alan Babich, who we're very familiar with in the UK. Um, knocking him out inside one round, destructive job. Clearly, very powerful. Lucas Rosansky carries dynamite in those fists because fifteen or no, 14 knockouts and virtually every single one's in the first round. So he's clearly very dangerous early. So Lawrence Acoli will have to be aware of that. Um and yeah, you can't really read much into his way. He looked he looked decent. He didn't look like he, you know, didn't look like he was carrying much excess fat or anything. And he's a good bit older than Lawrence Acoli, so I'd say he looked pretty good on the scales in terms of how Acoli looked. I think he parried the weight well. Um I don't I'm not gonna you know I think he put on the twenty four pounds reasonably well from in the past year um, from cruiserweight up to bridgerweight and whether or not he remains at bridgerweight remains to be seen I suppose I think it's ultimately we're going to see Lawrence Coley move up to heavyweight and um, that's more of a um, a when not if so yeah uh, that, that'll be an interesting one but in terms of what we've just watched there at the weigh in not a whole lot you can read into it straight away after both fighters weigh in and there's a you know they do a quick face off both have their their tops and their clothes back on so they're, you know, they're, they're, and it was a, you couldn't really even call it a face off, in my opinion. You know, it was a, it was a brief glance at each other. I go leave, no nonsense, right? Yep. Yeah, let's stare you out for not even five seconds, turn around, face the cameras, get off the stage. That's kind of the mentality and what he did there. I think he's just trying to go over there to Poland into Rosansky's backyard um, and doing a, doing a job on him. Whereas Rosansky kind of played to the crowd. There was quite a lot of noise when he was walking out to the, to the scales. Seems a popular fighter. So yeah, I I think that we're in for a, a good night tomorrow night. As the way in and seeing it, it'll change my mind on how I think the fight will go. Absolutely not. I think that there's kind of levels between these two. Although Akoli isn't 
the most attractive at times in the way he boxes. I think he's a far better fighter and more seasoned fighter than Lucas Rosansky. I think if he can navigate the first round or two, even the first few rounds, Lawrence Ciccoli, he could have far too much for Lucas Rosansky. And I'm edging towards a Lawrence Ciccoli stoppage in the mid-rounds. I think he'll maybe want a few rounds, see how he carries the extra weight, see how the gas tank is, see what his um, punch resistance is like if he takes one on the um, on the wickers from Rosansky early on. But yeah, I ultimately see Lawrence Ciccoli taking over and becoming the new um, WBC Bridgerweight World Champion. So yeah, who call him a two-weight world champion potentially after this Lawrence Ciccoli? Um, I think he'll go to Poland, beat Rosansky in his backyard and bring a belt back to the UK, whatever value you give that belt. Um, it's another, that's an argument for another day, but yeah, I, th- I think Akoli wins. And there's not much more I can say, really. So all I can say to that way, and, you know, no drama, really, no no handbags, no no, no slaps to the face, no um, no, no headbutts, nothing, nothing like that. So uh, very respectful. Both clearly going to try and do a job on each other tomorrow night and yeah let us know your thoughts and how you think the fight goes do you think Lucas Rosansky could well I'd say pull off the upset here even though he's the champion could he remain undefeated pull off the upset and maybe get another huge fight um, at, at Bridgerweight or even heavyweight or where, wherever he wants to campaign um, and can he say let's be honest Lawrence Akule if he loses this fight where does he go could Rosansky use that as fuel and you know all but end the career of Lawrence Akule if he's to win this it's an interesting one. How will Lawrence Acoli look under new coach Joe Gallagher? Very, very interesting. Loads of different um, narratives going into the fight. And I'm sure yeah, you're looking forward to it as much as I am to watch. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, speak to you again soon.